ora. I'm NIWA climate scientist Petra Pierce. Climate change is happening. We see evidence in long-term warming trends, retreating glaciers and sea level rise. Recent warming has been caused by an increase in the atmospheric greenhouse gas concentrations. These gases trap the sun's radiation, holding heat like a greenhouse does. Future changes to temperature and rainfall patterns, as well as sea level rise, are projected to have impacts on our communities, businesses and natural environments. In this video, we will explore how climate change may impact the Bay of Plenty region. When talking about potential climate futures in this video, we use two different scenarios. One is a business as usual scenario where atmospheric greenhouse gas concentrations continue to rise unabated, and the other is a mid-range scenario where concentrations stabilise around 2060. Even with efforts to reduce emissions worldwide, we are still likely to see continued climate change and associated impacts into the future. New Zealand has warmed by about one degree over the past century and this warming will continue. By the end of the 21st century for the Bay of Plenty region as a whole, it is projected to be 1.4 degrees warmer than present for the mid-range scenario seen here, but 3.1 degrees warmer for the business as usual scenario. You can see that some places warm more than others. Temperature increases are likely to impact the goods and services provided by our natural environment, including primary industries, as well as encouraging the spread of pests. However, increased temperatures may allow new warmer climate crops to be grown in the Bay of Plenty. Increasing average temperatures also means that extreme warm temperatures will be more common. Tauranga currently experiences about 24 hot days per year. This is projected to increase by about 15 days by the middle of the century for both scenarios and by 61 days by the end of the century under the business as usual scenario seen here. As you can see on the map, there is a large variation in the number of hot days across the region. For the mid-range scenario, an increase of 24 days is expected. The increase in hot days is likely to impact our physical and mental health and lead to increased energy use for cooling. Seasonal rainfall patterns are likely to change in the Bay of Plenty, with spring and summer becoming drier and autumn and winter wetter than at present. Extreme rainfall events are likely to be more intense and more common because a warmer atmosphere can hold more moisture. A current 1 in 100 year rainfall event in Tauranga delivers 250 mm over 24 hours. By 2090, under the business as usual scenario, this much rainfall could have a probability of occurring three times as often as at present. This has implications for stormwater management and flooding, as well as slips and landslides. On the other side, drought is expected to become more common and more severe in the Bay of Plenty, which may impact agriculture, horticulture and river flows. Sea level rise is a major concern for coastal communities and infrastructure. Coastal inundation and erosion are likely to become more common as well as saltwater intrusion to low-lying groundwater reserves. Depending on the climate change scenario, half a metre of sea level rise is projected to occur between 2060 and 2110, and one metre of sea level rise is likely between 2100 and after 2200. Climate change information is available on Bay of Plenty Regional Council's website. The NIWA report contains projections for many more climatic variables which you can see here as well as information on potential climate change impacts for the Bay of Plenty. The Council is hoping that this will motivate discussions across the community, with businesses, landowners, tangata whenua and the wider community working together with the different layers of government to build resilience and adapt to climate change. <laughs>